Right guys, so I'm actually filming three videos today. I've got the uh, Passat behind me here. Oh, I've done a range test on that, that's almost complete. But then over there we've got this uh, Maserati Quadraporte. Uh, it's just arrived in as a bit of stock at Fincars. I'm gonna film that as well. But the video that you're here for is the Golf TDI. This is the Golf R replica, fake Golf R, Golf R wannabe. <laughs> whatever you want to bloody call it. It's a very cool car, and basically I've bought this car off of one of my subscribers, and I'm going to give all of my subscribers a chance to win it for free on my website, planetofdreams.co.uk. But, but guys, stop right there, Cal. Stop right there. Before we give it away, I need to make it look a bit more presentable, a bit more pretty, right? It's nice. It's very nice. Uh, it's got Golf R wheels on it. It's got sweeping LED indicators. It's got hashtag on it, stickers on the rear windows, 4D plates from your car edge. It's all looking very nice, but I thought a color change would be really good. So, in today's videos, guys, we're gonna take the car over to A to Z. Um, let's go see Alex down the bottom there. Uh, he does vehicle wrapping, vinyl wrapping, and we're gonna change the color of the car, right? So, let's go. Gonna lost my words there. Let's, <laughs> let's cut to the intro, go and see Alex, and pick a color to wrap the car. <laughs> good to see you again, man. Good to see you, man. Uh, back on the channel, so obviously recently you wrapped the G-Wiz for us. The G -Wiz. It looks bloody amazing, man. Everyone was well happy about mm. the G-Wiz. Good color, great, on there. Great. I've just bought this Golf GT TDI to give away on Planet of Dreams. Now, it's kind of like a Golf file replica. Yeah, okay. Golf file wheels. Um, it's black as well, which is a nice color. Mm. Uh, but I feel like the color needs to change, yeah? Okay. Which is, which is where the wonderful Alex comes into play, mm -hmm. yeah? Change <laughs> um, the colors. We've talked a bit about colour, colour options, and yeah. I, I like Lapis Blue, because obviously that Lapis Blue is a Golf R colour. Yeah, uh, that's but nice. It is nice, Yeah, but I just feel like Nardo Grey would just be amazing. And we have a few options here. Yeah. Which I'm going to show you. This is your little colour wheel, yeah? Yeah, what do you think? Oh, mate, I, 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 I ain't got a clue. See, they, mm. they all look good, I and mean, even when you look at pictures on Google, we're yeah. putting up images on Google, aren't we, like, of yeah. different Audis with uh, in Nardo Grey. Is, is the darker one, is that the right one? I think this is the best. That's the closest the, the, to Nardo Yeah, Grey. the closest to Nardo Grey do you, we can get. Do you often get asked to do Nardo Is Nardo Grey quite a common It, it is, it is, is this, at this point, yeah. Loads of people car. ask for any, any type of cars. Yeah. From uh, Viva uh, transporters, from... Even Vauxhalls, whatever. Yeah, yeah, people, any even car, even Nardo Grey. Fiesta SCs they Nardo they Nardo like Grey. Nardo Grey, yeah. Nardo Grey is a safe colour. Um, the car has got a few stone zips in that as well, on it as well, so it'd be nice to make it look yeah, good no, again. No, we will sort everything out. You'll sort everything out. All, all the uh, chips and... Uh, I saw some dents as well. There was course. a bit of a damage, I think. Was it down here on the yeah, wing? Yeah. Oh, there it is, yeah. That's one. So, you so can, you we'll can... sort it before we wrap. That's yeah. wicked, man. So it's good, nice and flat. And then when something else. Wrap it. Yeah, that'd be good. So, something else we spoke about was Golf R's got like a, a matte silver finish wing mirror cover. Okay, like the Audi RS. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you able to do anything? We can with do, that? yeah, yeah. We can do the same color. Okay, and the windows are already tinted anyway, so we don't yeah. need to do nothing there. And what about, I did think about maybe going this bottom slat on the grill, maybe going black on there. Is that something that you could do? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Is that, is that, is that a problem? I don't know. Black <laughs> or like GTI. GTI has it in red. Yeah, this yeah, one, even that chrome trim at the bottom there, that would probably be good in, I reckon black Lots personally. Black. It's got to yeah. be black in it. And uh, we spoke about the roof, but I think I want to go neither grey with the roof. Okay, same. Yeah. Some same people like to go yeah. black on the roof. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. I think that's everything, Alex. I'm actually quite excited to see what this car is yeah. going to look like. Well, the wheels are nice. The wheels are nice. It's sitting. In the Windows roof. done. Just the color. Just the color. Needs a, a nice color to yeah. finish it off. Definitely. Cool. All right. And so, what is it about a week? Is it a few days? About a week. Okay. About a week. You're busy at the minute. Yeah. Busy. <laughs> Cool, yeah. right, and I'll put back next week. Okay, and, uh, that's great. Transformation, yeah?
<laughs> so the car is parked right here in front of me and what a bloody transformation this rap has made. Uh, I ain't gonna mess around, we're gonna do a simple countdown, get straight to it, get some nice music on, in fact we'll stop playing it now. There we go, get the ball rolling. You ready for the little countdown? Let's do it, big reveal of the Nardo Grey diesel fake Golf R. What a transformation. So this is the fake Golf R, Golf R replica, Golf R wannabe as I keep uh, describing it as. It looks so much better in this color. So this was like the darkest gray available uh, that Alex had on his color wheel. Big shout out again to Alex at A to Z. Great guy, I've known Alex for a good few years now and he's just a proper, proper nice guy. So do definitely, if you want any bits like this done to your car, he's based in Milton Keynes just at the other end of my farm like I keep saying and uh, yeah he's, he's a lovely guy definitely definitely give him a shout I will link all of his stuff in the description below yeah so Nardo Grey obviously the original colour was black black's a great colour don't get me wrong it's a really nice colour um, still black in the door shuts which I don't think looks too bad against the grey don't look too um, abnormal you know sometimes when you get like a, a yellow wrap on a blue car and you open up the doors and in the door shuts it's a bit of a clash black and grey don't look too bad so we've had the car fully de-chromed uh, which included just little things like these chrome trims here we've had them blacked out this vw badge as well we've had that blacked out uh before the car did have a little bit of damage like i think it was on one of the arches and somewhere else a few stone chips on the front uh alex has repaired all of the necessary stuff prior to wrapping the car so it's now clean super clean super fresh and obviously it's got this fresh wrap on it as well now i wanted the mirrors wrapped in a satin color obviously like the the golf r's to have from factory uh, so we've had them wrapped in satin silver Probably through the camera, they look very similar to the uh, the colour of the car, but there's a very, there is a little bit of a contrast there. I really, really like that. Uh, we've obviously got the Golf R wheels. This car has been lowered. It's on spacers. It's just a bloody good looking car. It's had these plates fitted prior to me buying the car. Lewis, the previous owner, did buy them, but do you know what? I'm a little bit unsure about them. I think I might reach out to your car edge and get some gel plates made up. They do make 4D plates as well, uh, but I think I prefer gel plates over 4D plates. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about that so as we wander around uh we've obviously kept the wind deflectors i quite like them i like that look i think they look really good uh hashtag on it stickers in the correct font obviously i own that brand that is trademarked to me uh so i own the word hashtag on it so i've got to be putting hashtag on it everywhere i can and that is actually cut out of the exact vinyl that the car was wrapped in as we come around the back obviously we've got the sweeping indicators on the rear lights golf r's have an exhaust or tw twin exhaust on either side this car obviously doesn't but i wouldn't mind maybe getting some exhaust tips if I get time, because we've got we are cutting it short for time, we're giving this car away on the first Friday of next month. I think it's the weekend of the Queen's Jubilee. So whilst the Queen is celebrating her Jubilee, we are going to be celebrating the giveaway for this car. So if you've not entered if your chance to win this car, doors are gonna close. <laughs> little bit windy today finger dust flying everywhere if you've not yet entered for your chance to win this car it is available to enter for free to my subscribers only if you do not hit that subscribe button you are not welcome to enter but as long as you are a subscriber enter for nothing and obviously if you're a dream catcher you've already been entered five times five entries as dream catchers and that costs you nine pound 99 a month all right so on the inside we've still got the stock steering wheel but let me quickly talk about that before I mention the Golf R seats, which I don't think I've even told you yet. We do have Golf R seats, guys. I actually went on eBay. I put a few things on my Insta story to say that I want a set of Golf R seats. Um, and I had a few people reach out to me, but I actually went on eBay, uh, messaged a guy on eBay. They, these were advertised for sale. And it turns out he was one of my subscribers. He was based in Birmingham and he dropped them down for me. So we've installed Golf R seats. Alex done that for me as well. And if we head on into the boot, still a couple more things that have not yet been done. Control Customs has sent me out a steering wheel. So we've got a fresh Golf R steering wheel. That is actually a Golf R steering wheel with a blue line at 12 o'clock with blue stitching. So that is amazing. I've also ordered a black trim for, you know, making it look more like a Golf R. That's actually out of a Mark 7.5 Golf R. Let's get that bubble wrap out of the way. There we go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So that's going to go on there. It's all going to look very nice and Golf R-ish. And uh, we're going to get that fitted in the next couple of days. I will try and show you a little slider of it fitted before this video ends. Oh, there you go. Sorted. 
yeah look at that you lot have seen it before i have so uh on the gear stick as well we've had that replaced for a golf r gear stick that is literally out of a golf r luckily this car is also a six speed manual car so we've got six speed manual gear gear knob at the top there as well so uh what else have we had done i think that is pretty much everything i'm gonna get distracted now there we go check this interior out man golf r interior golf r steering wheel golf r gear knob nardo gray in a diesel golf like this is a perfect daily man five door super sensible super economic it's done 113,000 miles as well by the way which isn't amazing mileage but it does represent great value for money which is what i love to do on my channel uh the little silver mirrors just loads of little things that this car's got going for it that i know so many people are going to love and uh, there is one more thing though guys that i think this car really really needs and that is it needs tuning, doesn't it? It definitely needs tuning. It needs a, needs a little bit more power. So what I'm gonna do, uh, before we give this car away, I'm gonna head over to VRS in Northampton. And I spoke to Will yesterday, and Will was like, how? Of course I will tune that car for you. Get it up to me, we'll do a stage one map on it. Nothing too crazy, so it's still versatile, still suits lots of people, uh, but it will give it a bit more power. From factory, these have got 150 brake horsepower, and I think after a map, we might be, well, I don't know, 200, I don't know. I don't wanna quote too many, uh, or get too excited just yet because we will see when we do that video uh, in the next few days, or I don't know when that video is gonna go live, but I do need to get it done as soon as possible because we're cutting it fine again as usual uh, before the giveaway date of this car, all right? So uh, I think I'm gonna wrap it up and leave it as that. I do wanna quickly remind you that I've got my car event on Sunday the 26th of June. Uh, so if you have not bought yourself a ticket yet, quickly get yourself on board because they are selling fast. Get involved, get, in on, get on it, because it is gonna be an amazing day. I've done a, a car event last year, CCD, the event 2020. And I'm gonna try and do an event every single year because they are so bloody good So if you want to get involved with that, I will put a link to the ticket sales website in the description below get involved It's gonna be an amazing day I'll put a link also to planet dreams in the description below and to Alex at A to Z I just want to stress that like it's done me a little bit of a deal on this car, which is great But this ain't about that. I just like Alex. Yeah, if you got anything you want doing please reach out to him, he deserves a bit of support. He's a great guy and he does a decent job as well, you can see, all right? So uh, all of that will be linked in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Look out for follow-up videos on this car. I'm sort of looking around and trying to think if there's anything I've missed. I am really looking forward to getting the steering wheel on this car because it just, it needs it, doesn't it? It needs it. Does anyone want to buy this steering wheel, by the way? If you do, reach out and I've got the original interior may as well try and get some cash back out of this car whilst we've got the opportunity if you do sales at binker.co.uk or give us a bell at binker and um yeah you never know i think that's everything guys uh thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video i hope you like this golf this is probably my favorite car ever on planet do you know what i think you need two cars you need a sensible daily and a sports car i think this and an audi s3 that would be the perfect two cars and they are both available to win for nothing on planet dream so get involved get entering and i'll see you in the next video but before you go hit like if you like this video hit subscribe if you're new and if you're on instagram give me a follow on instagram at calvin's car diary yeah and i will see you in the next video bye